The Shands Bridge was closed for a time yesterday after a crash involving a fatality. At around 6 in the evening, an accident unfolded on State Road 16 west of the Shands Bridge. A red pickup truck heading west encountered a gray Kia sports utility vehicle traveling eastbound. For unknown reasons, the pickup truck veered across the center line, colliding with the oncoming sports utility vehicle. Subsequently, a third vehicle collided with debris from the initial crash. Emergency medical personnel swiftly responded to the scene to provide assistance. The driver of the Kia was transported to HCA Orange Park with serious injuries. Unfortunately, the driver of the pickup truck was pronounced dead at the scene. The driver of the third vehicle escaped the incident without injuries. The circumstances surrounding the pickup truck crossing the center line remain under investigation. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. St. John's County Commissioners have a full agenda for today's meeting. This morning's meeting will have board members diving right into the topics of recognition and community resources. Wayne Larson, Public Affairs Director for St. John's County. A special recognition of the Volano Beach Main Street Board, a proclamation to recognize January as Human Trafficking Month, the first ever service delivery team presentation on a variety of programs that support the community, a presentation by the Hidden in Plain Sight program, who will also have an interactive trailer on site for the public that day to learn more about indicators of risky behaviors or mental health concerns in youth. Trash and water will be getting some attention too. An update on the new vendor who will provide solid waste, recycling, and yard waste collection services next year. A presentation on the expansion of the wastewater treatment and water reclamation facility for the State Road 207 and Anastasia Island service areas. And there will be an update on the study of the Summer Haven River and Summer House erosion findings, including possible FEMA protective measures. The meeting will begin at 9 a.m. at the St. John's County Administration Building. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. If you're struggling this holiday season or you're concerned about someone who might be, there is help available. Shy Lewis of Vibrant Emotional Health talks to Liz Ryan about seasonal depression and ways to cope. This time of year, we hear it all the time. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. But for many, the holidays are the most difficult time of the year. We might be missing loved ones who have passed. Sometimes we're just feeling disconnected. and We may be estranged from family. You know, there's a real stereotypical happiness and sort of perfect holidays that are presented in the media. Those can all lead us to feeling bad along with just the general stress to accomplish so much and the financial strain. There are ways to cope. It's really important for folks to engage in really good self-care. Maybe get off Instagram or some of the other social media pages or some of the other kinds of media where we're seeing a lot of things that are making us feel that increased pressure. Be sure that you're thinking about eating healthy meals, especially since the holidays it can involve a lot of alcohol and heavy non-nutritious foods. And all of those things can really impact your mood and your ability to cope and try to get some physical activity in every day. If you're struggling with feelings of loneliness, depression, or isolation, and you feel you're in crisis, please call 988. You can also go to the website 988lifeline.org. There's some self-care during the holidays guidance, as well as guidance on how to find a therapist or support group. There's guidance on how to make a safety plan, especially if you have struggled with any thoughts of suicide. It sort of guides you through how to make a safety plan that could help keep you safe in a time of crisis. Maybe you're worried about somebody in your life who's exhibiting some signs of depression, so you're worried that they might have thoughts of suicide. You see someone struggling at this time of year. Um, check out the Help Someone Else section on our 988lifeline.org website. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's Local Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.